listen guys, stop giving these cable companies hundreds of dollars. There's no need. You know, about a year ago, my wife and I finally cut the cord for good. We picked up an Amazon Fire Stick and we went ahead and got Netflix and we've been using that for the past year or so. Now, that's definitely a good place to start. But after about a year of owning the Fire Stick, it has slowed down drastically. And only having Netflix is definitely leaving something to be desired. Meet the Xiaomi Mi Box. This is an Android TV box that has Google Cast, 4K streaming capabilities, a voice search remote, and a grip more to offer. We're going to check it out now. Good people, I'm Yeti Machete, tech it ain't easy, I'm here to help. Now, when it comes to cutting the cord, sometimes you can feel like you're losing out a lot. You know, your favorite TV shows, sports, and if you're my wife, commercials. I'm serious, she actually misses commercials. Now, with the Mi Box and a couple of tweaks here and there, this is all you really need. So, in the box, you get the Mi Box itself, an HDMI cord, Bluetooth voice remote, power adapter with a little over three feet of cord length, and your special offers packet with about $70 in savings. The Mi Box has a good amount of weight to it. The box feels solid and is built good. The entire box has a matte finish with the exception of the glossy IR sensor and the Mi logo. On the bottom we have a rubber circle to help keep this thing in place. And on the back of the Mi Box, we have your power in, your USB port, HDMI 2.0, and a 3.5 millimeter audio port. Now, I have to say, it's a shame that we don't get a Ethernet port because that'll give you the best possible connection when streaming 4K video. However, you could just pick up a USB to Ethernet adapter plug and you're good to go. Now, I'll leave a cheap option in the description down below along with this box. So the Mi Box is running Android TV 6.0 out of the box and it's upgradable to Android 8.0 Oreo. Everything is fast and fluid here with little to no hiccups. The layout and the way you navigate is really reminiscent to Netflix and their layout. I find that the interface is nice and clean. You pretty much just get a giant list of tiles with your search function up top followed by your installed apps and then the list of recent apps and their recommendations. You do get an array of pre-installed apps, but thankfully most are pretty useful here. We're getting things like Netflix and Hulu, which can be uninstalled if you don't have accounts for those. We're also getting things like Spotify and Pandora. Pluto TV also comes installed, which I want to talk about here for a little bit. Now, I didn't know anything about Pluto TV until I got this box. But Pluto TV is a completely free TV streaming service. You do have to sit through a couple commercials from time to time, which of course my wife really likes. Uh, if you're just cutting the cord and you're used to that cable TV layout, you're gonna feel right at home here. You can click the select button on the Mi Box remote and you can see we just have a never ending list of TV channels here with that cable box layout that I just mentioned. Okay, it's not never ending, but you're getting almost a thousand channels here. The variety is there too. We've got sport channels, news channels, movie channels, fight networks, food TV, and even some cartoons for the kids, and everything in between. This is hands down my wife's favorite due to the whole entire layout and how it looks like a cable box. Now, moving along, you're getting access to a modified version of the Google Play Store specifically built around Android TV. So you're going to be shown apps that are built specifically to work with the Android TV. Uh, since this is running a modified version of Android, you can, of course, sideload any other app that you want if it's not available on the Google Play Store. Things like Kodi, Bobby Movies, and Terrarium TV, just to name a few. On the Android TV Play Store, you are able to download things like Plex, HBO Go, Stars, Showtime, Hulu, Netflix, Twitch TV, and a bunch of other applications. That's why I say this is all you need if you're cutting the cord. Plus, you're getting Chromecast built in, so anything that a Chromecast can do, 
this can do. And that's just fantastic because we're getting even more streaming capabilities here with this box. Although I use my box mainly for streaming TV and movies, this can also handle games thanks to the quad-core Cortex-A53 clocked at 2.0 GHz coupled with the Mali 450. Now I tested a wide variety of games here from Asphalt 8 to Minecraft, Riptide GP2 and a bunch of others. It handled everything with ease and games ran smoothly and looked beautiful doing so. Now there's a tremendous amount of supported games here on the Play Store. Plus, there's videos all over YouTube showing how to install emulators on this guy, and you can even install Moonlight to stream games from your PC directly to the Mi Box, so you're pretty much covered if gaming is your main focus. Now, I spent a few hours setting up and installing Kodi TV, Bobby Movies, Terrarium TV, Netflix, Pluto TV, and a couple others, and this leaves absolutely nothing to be desired here. And guess what my bill is every single month? under $20. Cable TV just isn't worth it anymore. Stop paying hundreds of dollars just for TV. Pick you up a streaming box. Now this Mi Box is a fantastic option. I do recommend it. Now, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description for you. But any TV box should do. Like I said, I stuck with the Fire TV for about a year and, and that was a good place to start. If you want the best, pick you up something like this or something similar. Again, links in the description. That pretty much wraps up the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, you already know what to do. Shmee to smack that like button. If you haven't yet, definitely check out some other content. Consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it greatly. I'm signing off. Catch you guys in the next one. Okay.